Hey guys, so I just finished up a couple of prom different looks and it really got me inspired to do the hashtag dear me tag that's been going around YouTube and especially with um, International Women's Day just in the last week and things like that and having just finished graduating. I know I keep saying that but I'm still in shock so bear with me. <laughs> it's been 10 years. Um, but yeah, so it really got me thinking about doing this Dear Me tag. So I drew my little sign. Not sure if you can see it. Yeah. So, just some things that I was reflecting on while thinking back on my prom experience and just growing up and things like that. So, Dear Me, things are going to be okay. I know everyone tells you that but it's gonna be true so yeah just keep that in mind also everyone is trying to tell you to be yourself and that really gets on your nerves and that's okay um but the reason why that's so important to master and understand is that when you are being someone else or living up to their standards you're limited by what they see you capable of doing. When you're being yourself, you are limited by yourself and what you think your standards and your limitations are. So um, that's why it's important because we've overcome a lot and beat a lot of statistics and things like that. So I'm happy to say that that is a cliche that I am happy to be embracing and living by. Also, Starbucks is going to be an addiction for you for a long time, and um, you're not really a quitter. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I will say continue to write. That will take you so far and help you with your GPA, which I know you're concerned about right now, but trust me, given about like seven years in college and the last three years, you'll have a 4.0. So just keep trying. Keep writing, keep sharing your heart with your pen and paper, and yeah, don't be too caught up in the future, which is something I'm telling myself in the present day and the future self, right? Um, yeah, it's really easy to get caught up in, well, what about this and the next step, and what do I do now? And it's hard to stay in the present moment. It's uncomfortable because you're so vulnerable in it. But I would encourage you, continue to be vulnerable, continue to embrace the messiness of life. It will not go the way you planned. You're not going to be 25 years old with a master's degree starting your career. Sorry, my bad. It didn't work out that way. But you are 26 and you just finished undergrad and you're looking into master's and different job opportunities and things like that. And you're happily married for four years going on in May. And yeah, by the way, you're not going to be with the same guy that you're with. Sorry, it doesn't work out. He's a good guy, but he's not the one. So just don't worry about having to find someone because believe it or not, you were found. <laughs> and it was an amazing experience, but it's not something that just happened because we willed it to. Uh, also, you're very strong-willed and learn to love that about yourself. Don't try to slow yourself down or contain everything about you because you'll end up being miserable, trust me. You are who you are and eventually you'll learn things like the types and personality and natures and things like that and you'll learn to love that about yourself. And that's an invaluable gift that hopefully we can share that with others once we've mastered that and get a good grip on it ours. Once we've mastered it and got a good grip on it ourselves, let's see, you still will have your Converse shoes. I still have them in my closet. I still wear them. And yeah, your love for rock music is not going to go away except for CDs are not going to be a thing anymore, so it's going to be amazing. You're going to be overwhelmed with the amount of music that you're going to have at the touch of your fingertips. So just get ready and get excited. The future holds amazing things for music lovers. So yeah, look forward to that. 
and don't worry so much about not being in the crowd or the group that you want to be in. I know that is another cliche, but just be thankful that you were in a very eclectic group growing up because it really molded you and shaped you to who you are now and I personally appreciate it. So it may be awkward and turbulent at times, but just be happy that you have friends in a wide variety of you know, groups of people and people that you hang out with because that'll be a good thing. Also, P.S., your best friend Kayla and Aaron, they're not going anywhere. So, all those fights and miscommunications, they'll work themselves out and you'll end up, you'll end up just fine. So, yeah. Have fun growing up. I know it is hard and I wouldn't go back for anything, but I am proud of who we are becoming and I'm excited to see where we are going. All right. And if you haven't done this tag, I challenge you to do it. It's really reflective and deep and the psych major in me is all like, ooh, I like this kind of homework. So yeah, either do a blog post or a note on Facebook or whatever, but do the hashtag Dear Me and it's going around and I'm curious to see what you guys would say to your younger selves. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video.